My name is Nicole Pelazon and I study at Imperial College London. I've just finished my second year uh, studying aeronautical engineering. The idea was to come up with a generative design project and I kept in the theme of my aeronautical degree and I came up with this bracket here. The idea being that I could take a small part that isn't particularly important make it much lighter and therefore save a lot of fuel. Actually with generative design I was able to reduce the weight of this component by 50%. For just this route you're saving like uh, tons and tons of fuel, it's about 2.4 tons of CO2. It's one of the nice things about generative design is that it works in almost in the same way that nature does. With topological optimization, you have your starting point and you chop away mass. Whereas with this, we start with just small regions. So for example, this bolt hole, this one here at the top, these are regions that you really require and the rest is up to the software. It can be actually manufactured right now. So once I've settled on the design, um, I've got the option to export it back into Fusion as, um, as a solid body so I can continue to edit the parts. This is long-term thinking, this is quite short-term thinking. So it really would be great to see this pushed out a little bit more and to see companies being a little bit less scared because yes, they, they, these components look weird and wacky and they don't look like they should work, but they, they really do.